And last time I wasn't scared of forest fires, but now I am. Just days after losing their home and almost everything they had to a wildfire, the Bruvald family is doing everything they can to cope with their loss. I just, I have no way of explaining how I feel about it all. It's just a big ball of emotion right now. <laughs> you give me an airplane ride, how about that? No. The Bruvolds were evacuated from their home outside of Taylor last Monday, but at the time the thought that almost everything they had would be gone when they came back didn't even cross their mind. The situation seemed so non-threatening that Brandy's husband Justin went back the next day to check on the house. Within minutes of being there, a fire marshal came ripping up the road and told Justin he had to leave immediately. By the time I stepped outside, it was already... So it was so smoky you couldn't see like 10 feet in front of you. So um, jumped in my van, ended up running over a hot water tank and some sapling trees and just some random things around the yard just trying to find the road. Later on when Justin was back in town, his brother who was helping to fight the fire broke the bad news to the family. He actually called me and said the house is leveled. It doesn't look like anything's even been there. At least the dogs are okay. The Bruvalds say they were able to get most of their sentimental things out of the house, but one of the few things lost was a couple of their six-year-old daughter's crayons. I left out two crayons because um, they were out of my box with all the other crayons. Like, I left them out and I let them go in the fire because I couldn't save them. And we were running out of time and we had to go in and we had to jump in the car quick because um, the forest fire was heading there as fast as it could. As fate would have it, this isn't the first time that something like this has happened to the Bruvald family. Brandy said within the last three years, both her parents and her cousins have lost their homes to fires. Justin also lost his home to an electrical fire when he was young. To have it happen all over again, to bring back those memories that you've kind of pushed back in the back burner of your mind for years and years, it just brings them all out again. So it's definitely, uh, it's definitely harder the second time around, I believe. <laughs> in the end, what matters most is that it was only things, not people that were lost. Even Serena is able to keep a positive mindset about it. I pulled a piece off the trampoline so I could remember what color it was. And do you still have it? Yeah, but it has holes. We're gonna get a new trampoline. We're gonna place everything around the circle that got burnt. Peter Houston, CJDC TV News, Fort St. John.